One day, Chibiko and Danny were watching TV and talking about how they met. At the time, Chibiko spent most of his days at home by himself. He wasn't used to friends and guests being over, and had actually mistaken Danny as a spider while watching a late night movie. You know, Danny said, that was a long time ago now. We should have another movie night. That's a good idea, Chibiko said. We can watch one of the Ninja Hot Dog Squad movies. I was actually thinking of a spooky movie, Danny said. With snacks and everything. The only hot dogs should be for eating. Chibiko thought for a moment. The reason he had mistaken Danny for a spider in the first place was because he was scared of the movie that he was watching then. But it was true that he had felt much braver once they were watching it together. Okay, Chibiko said. Let's do it tomorrow night. You can choose the movie, and I'll prepare the food. They both agreed that this would be a great idea, and then Danny went home. They both wanted to get plenty of sleep today, so that they could stay up late tomorrow night. Chibiko woke up the next day feeling excited about his planned movie night. He wondered what movie Danny would pick. He took a quick shower and then headed straight to the kitchen to start preparing food so that everything would be ready when his friend arrived. He poured some candy into a bowl and put some soda in the fridge. He had some popcorn too, but that should be saved until the last possible minute to make sure that it was hot and fresh. He then got out a big pot to prepare some hot dogs. It took a long time to boil the big pot of water, and it was already getting dark by the time that Chibiko put the hot dog wieners in. He was just putting the last wiener in when the doorbell rang. That must be Danny. Chibiko raced out of the kitchen and through the living room to the front door. Sure enough, Danny had arrived. He was holding a list. I've picked a few movies, he said. We'll choose one based on what you want to watch. Do you want something with monsters or vampires? Man-eating pumpkins or ghosts? Chibiko thought about his choices as he let his friend in and they sat together on the sofa. I think... Maybe a ghost movie would be good, Chibiko eventually said. Good choice, Danny said. I know a really good one. He then picked up the remote and switched the movie on. Maybe I'm getting braver, Chibiko said. But this doesn't seem so scary. Danny didn't respond. Danny? Ch 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 Chibiko, there's a, a g g g ghost! Danny stuttered and pointed off across and over Chibiko's head. Above them, floating above the sofa, was the ghost of a hot dog. Ah! They both screamed and ran into the kitchen. The pot of hot dogs had boiled dry, and another hot dog ghost was rising up out of it. Ah! Chibiko and Danny ran out of the kitchen and up to Chibiko's bedroom. D do you think we'll be safe here? Danny asked. I, I, I hope so, Chibiko replied just as a hot dog ghost entered the room. Help! Danny squealed. Run! Chibiko shouted and they both dashed to the bathroom. It took a few minutes before they realized that they had run into a small room with only one way in and out. They were trapped. One hot dog was entering through the door. Another was coming out of the shower head. And a third seemed to be rising up from the sink. 
Chibiko and Danny clung to each other and closed their eyes as the entire room became white. Chibiko opened his eyes. It was still morning, around 8.30 according to his clock. Danny wouldn't be visiting for hours, and there were no ghost hot dogs anywhere to be seen. He still had plenty of time, he thought, as he took his morning shower, but mostly he thought about how he should be more careful to keep an eye on his pot of hot dogs whenever he cooked them in the future.